Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakudash, double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men that told me the truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, that's teaching this word of truth and sincerity. And peace and blessings to the rest of the elect of the house of Israel that scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, the Israelites that dwell in the other nations that look like the other races. But the spirit of Ron goes back to Israel. This is, I'm going to name this one a glimpse into the kingdom. And what you just saw was a goat and a tiger, which is natural arch enemies, all right, dwelling amongst each other. Now we know in this time period that the animals are in slavery just like the Lord's chosen people, man. The, the damn animals are in subjection and in captivity just like we are. And um, this is a glimpse into the kingdom because this is prophesied in the Bible. How the predator and the prey is going to dwell together. All right. And this lifted up my spirit to, you know, and just, you know, just lifted up my spirit, man. Because I'm like, yo. The kingdom is going to be beautiful, peace and harmony without no GMO, GM, GMO, GMO artificial uh, uh, way of life. Because right now, like I said, these animals are in captivity, so they probably drugged up, uh, fed with all types of hormones and, and, and vaccinated and all type of, they probably doped up, man. They don't even know that they're a tiger or a goat, you know? Or it could be, they could be even cloned animals because that's the ways of this devil. He tries to play God and create what the Most High already created. All right? But now to get into scriptures, this is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 6. The wolf also will shall dwell with the lamb. And the leopard shall lie down with the with the kid. And the calf and the young lion and the fatling together. And a little child should lead them. So it's gonna be our Israelite babies gonna be safe around apex predators, ferocious creatures, carnivores. A Israelite baby will be able to dwell amongst them and be all right all right just like you take your kid to the park and your kid runs around <laughs> he, he, depending on where you live at he's already uh playing around animals which are the heathen nations <laughs> you know but in the kingdom he's going to play around literal wild beasts in in this lifetime or in this world which would kill him any other time or any other day. But in the kingdom of heaven, the Lord is going to put um, humans, st 
starting with the Israelite man, woman, and child above animals again. Well, let me rephrase that. Let me correct that. There's only going to be the Israelites that's going to be protected from animals. The dread of animals is not going to be on people. The dread of Israelites is going to be on the animals. They're going to know better and know not to try to eat us, attack us, or harm us. Verse 7, and the cow and the beer shall feed their young ones. It said, shall feed. <coughs> and the cow and the beer shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together. And the lion shall eat straw like the ox. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of an asp. And the weaned child shall put his hand on a cockatrice den. Venomous cro cro uh, crawling things, creepy things. All right? The Israelite child is going to be protected from anything that was uh, called dangerous in this world. Because Yahweh is going to be our God and we're going to be his people. And we're going to be protected from danger and harm again. All right? Isaiah chapter 65, verse 25. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and the dust shall be serpent's meat, and they shall not hurt nor destroy it all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. And what's the Lord's holy mountain? What's the Lord's mountain monument? To Zion, Zion, all right, the Israelites, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, all right? You're the Lord's mountain. You're the Lord's choice. You're the Lord's selection. You're the people that God dwells with. And it says, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountains, save the Lord, all right? So we ain't going to have to worry about, matter of fact, let me get that. This is 1 Corinthians. Chapter 15, verse 54. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, this corruptible meaning this, the bodies that we have now, all right? This, the terrestrial bodies that we have now. We live and we die, okay? Shall have put on the incorruption, which is going to be those extraterrestrial bodies that we're going to have in the kingdom, all right? And this mortal shall put on immortality, so we are going to be immortals in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to live forever. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. And we're no longer going to transgress the laws of the Most High and the Son. So being that we're not going to go off anymore, we're going to live forever. So it says, and this mortal shall put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. All right. Death is swallowed up in victory. Starting with the blood of our Lord and Savior, who the word eagerly called Jesus Christ, which his real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh First and foremost, we are saved by his blood. And then secondly, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to give that, be given that fleshly heart. So we're not going to experience the sting of death anymore. We ain't going to die by wild beasts and wild animals or poisonous snakes or diseases or high blood pressure, uh, diabetes, kidney problems, liver problems, and the list goes on. So it says, oh, death, where's thy sting? Oh, grave, where's thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to the Most High, which give us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach. So we're no longer going to experience the sting or the pain of death. 
because we're going to be immortals in the kingdom of heaven. And just seeing this video. All right. Brings comfort. Seeing this video with the tiger being with the goat brings comfort, man. It reminds us that we have a kingdom to look forward to. Last scripture, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. So this is what we're looking for. A new heavens and a new earth, where dwelleth righteousness. All right? We ain't going to have to drug up the animals for them to dwell amongst each other. We ain't got to clone the animals. So they can be domesticated and, and, and GMO'd up so they can dwell amongst each other. The animals are going to be at peace with each other because the righteous are in authority again. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is the ruler and the governor of the planet Earth again. And not the wicked. All right. It says, nevertheless, we according to his promise, we according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him with in peace, without spot and blameless. So we got to be diligent towards Yahweh Shem Yahweh towards loving your neighbor as yourself. Towards doing this work, this good fight of faith, this labor of love, and enduring hardness as good soldiers for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh sake, man. Casting off the uh, 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 the ways of this world and seeking towards the kingdom to come, wherein dwelleth peace and righteousness. Pretty much that's it. I pray and hope that you was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Till next time, I say Shalom.